Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make mock-ups for your business in PicMonkey, Canva, and Silhouette Studio. So mock-ups save you so much time when you're creating new products and let's be honest, making a bunch of products and taking all those product photos take time. And when you're a creator, you wanna find things that save you time and mock-ups do just that. Now this is as long as you're able to create a product that looks like the mock-up that you are creating. So that's an important factor to consider too. So I'm gonna include some discount codes down below if you're wanting that and let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna first start with PicMonkey and I'm gonna show you just one mock-up example and then I'll also show you how I create my decal mock-ups. PicMonkey is what I use for that. So um, you're gonna first start by either having your mock-up photo ready, and this is something that you can take yourself. So just taking a photo of the blank product yourself, make sure you have good lighting, make sure it's a high quality photo, or you can purchase them from Etsy, Design Bundles. Lots of websites have mock-ups. You can just go type in the product that you're looking for. So for example, if I'm looking for a 15 ounce mug, I'm gonna type in 15 ounce mug mock-ups, and the ones that I have purchased are the ones that are the identical mug that I have. So that's something important to consider. Just make sure it looks exactly like the product that you're offering. So for like wood signs and stuff like that, I take my own mock-up photos. It's my exact wood signs that I have created blank, and then I go in there and create mock-ups through my own products. Um, things like sublimation and mugs and stuff like that looks identical to what I create, so I'm okay with purchasing mock-ups for that. But I just wanted to go ahead and mention that, that that's something really important to consider because you're gonna have those customers that are looking at all those details and they want exactly what they're purchasing. So you're gonna go to create new and you're gonna go select the background mock-up photo that you um, either purchased or took for yourself. Okay, so I have imported that photo in there and now you're gonna wanna overlay whatever file that you intend to put on this. So I'm gonna go over here to the left-hand side and you're gonna hit graphics and then you're gonna go to add your own graphic and then computer. All right, so I have uploaded the PNG. This is for a sublimated mug. So um, when I purchased this file, it was already a PNG with a transparent background, but you can also do this with SVGs. So if you're doing something with an SVG file, that'll work as well. So obviously this is gonna be gigantic when you upload it and that's not gonna look realistic. So you're gonna wanna size that down. So you're just gonna take this corner and just scale it down to the size that will work. All right, and once you have the placement where you want it, you can go over here to this little image box and you can fade it and that can make it look more realistic. So if your picture or your exact mug is not gonna look exactly like this, you're gonna wanna make it look a little bit more realistic. And for me, the settings that I have for my mug, they're pretty bright. So I don't usually have to do this, but if you want to, you can fade it down slightly and then it's done. So that's how you make a mock-up for mugs and things like that. And you can add your watermark here or whatever you want. And I'll get into that in another video, but um, this is a time if you're gonna add a watermark, you're gonna wanna do that now. So once you're done, you're gonna go to download, make sure it's saved as a JPEG and the quality is high and you're finished. So that is how you make a mock-up with a product photo that you have imported in. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how I make my vinyl decal mock-ups. And I like to use PicMonkey for this because it has a couple settings that I like. So um, right here, you're gonna go to create new and then you're gonna import um, a background photo. So you either whatever your background of your products that you want them to look like. I have just a regular white ship lap that I really like and I use for my backgrounds for my vinyl. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that because it's saved already. But if you have something that you have purchased or you wanna use, that is the time to import it now. All right, and the next thing I'm gonna do is add the background of my vinyl. So I'm gonna go to graphics and then um, basic. So this is gonna be the background paper of your vinyl. And I'm gonna change that color to white. So you're gonna go up here to this little dot and you're gonna click it and just select white or whatever color you want for your vinyl paper. And then another thing I like to do to make it look more realistic is I go to effects and then I hit drop shadow. So as you can see, this kind of makes it look like it is a real 3D object. So um, I have that part done. So the next thing I'm gonna do is either A, you're gonna add fonts. So you can go to your text and you can add text. 
So you, then you're gonna type in whatever you want for your vinyl decal to say. So let's say it's a name decal, um, I don't know. And then you're going to highlight that and you can change the font here. So you can import your own fonts or you can choose some of the fonts that they have. I recommend using your own fonts so you can make it look, or you can actually create those. So um, here you can play around with the colors. So like I said up here, you can change the colors. Um, let's say I'm gonna make this a red decal. Um, and then here I'm going to size my vinyl paper down. And there is my name decal. So I can obviously make this a little bit bigger. I can play around with the sizing. I can just do any of that. Um, this is just a great way to make example decals. Um, you can even rotate it and make it look a little bit realistic. You can add multiple different names. So this is how I make my name vinyl mockups. Super easy. It's done after that. You go up there to download and you can save it there. So now let's say you're wanting to add an SVG that you have purchased or created and you're wanting to make this on a mockup. So I already have my paper, so I'm gonna use that again. I'm gonna go over here again to my graphics panel and add your own graphic, and then you're gonna select your SVG file that you have purchased or that you have saved on your computer. All right, I have imported this pineapple SVG file, and as you can see, it does have a transparent background. Um, and then I'm gonna scale it down and then match my paper up with my SVG. And that is how you upload an SVG file over the vinyl backing and it makes it look like an actual vinyl decal. And like I said, you can scale it up. I wouldn't go too big because once you put that product photo on there, it's gonna kind of um, cut some of it off. So you want it to be a little bit smaller and make it in the center. And these lines here on PicMonkey help you um, get it centered. So that's definitely helpful. Um, and that's it. That is how I make an SVG and make a mock-up for that. And then that's how I do names. And then yet again, you're gonna go to download, um, save as file type JPEG, quality high, and there is your mock-up for your SVG. So now let's go ahead and go into Canva and I'll show you how to make a mock-up on there. Okay, now we're at Canva and we're gonna just do a basic t-shirt mock-up. So you're gonna go up here to create a design and then you're gonna hit edit photo. So I'm uploading my design that I chose and then you're gonna click edit photo again. Okay, the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is upload your PNG or your image or whatever you're trying to overlay over your shirt. So you're gonna go here to uploads and then you're gonna upload media and it's gonna be whatever PNG or um, SVG or whatever design that you want to overlay over your shirt. And I'm just gonna select this one. I have already uploaded it in there. And as you can see, it already overlays over your shirt and then you're just gonna size it down to fit. And then just like I showed you in PicMonkey, you can play around with it and make it look more or less realistic in here with all of the settings and stuff. And then when you're finished and you're happy with your mock-up, you just go up here to download and um, I'm gonna save it as a JPEG and then the quality, high as you can, and then download. And that is how you make a mock-up in Canva. Super easy, just like PicMonkey, they're all about the same when it comes to making mock-ups. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys how to make a mock-up in Silhouette Studio. So I do have the Business Edition, and I actually highly recommend that you up grade to the business edition if you're going to be doing a lot with files and just using multiple machines and different things like that um, and i'm able to save it as a um, jpeg file this way now if you don't there's another way to do it and i'll show you how to how to save it um, but i just wanted to go ahead and mention that that it is beneficial to have an updated version of silhouette but it is a free software so if you'd rather use this than PicMonkey or canva you can do it for free the quality just won't be as high but you can do it so we're going to go up here to file and then we're going to hit merge and this is the background photo that you're going to choose for your mock-up all right i decided to go with a fall background or kind of a uh darker background because I'm feeling the fall vibes today. So we're gonna select our photo and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit because it obviously updated very large. Um, and I'm gonna scale it down just a little bit just so I can see what I'm working with here. 
Um, and then next, you're gonna wanna again merge and overlay your PNG or your JPEG or whatever you're wanting to make your mock up of. So I'm gonna go to File and Merge again. All right, so now I have my pumpkin PNG here. And um, honestly, if I was gonna be doing a mug, I'd be using probably a different um, photo, but this is just to show you an example. Um, but as you can see, there's lines on the background and this is just the cut lines. Um, I'm gonna just go over here to the line panel and I'm gonna turn the lines off. And then I'm gonna now scale down. So you're just gonna take that corner and you're gonna scale it down. Okay, and then let's say I wanted to add a name under my mug as well. I'm gonna go over here to the text panel and I'm just going to type in my name. Let's say her name is Alyssa. And then you can change your font, whoops. You can change your font up here. And then I'm gonna change the color of my name here to black. And then scale that up a little bit. And then just kind of play around with it and get it the way that you would have it in your real product photo. And then that's it. That is how you make a mock-up for your Silhouette Studio. So I'll show you how to save it, the free version. So for the free version, now I have a Windows, I don't have a Mac. So you'll just go down here to um, search and type in snipping tool and then select that. And then you're gonna go to new and then you can um, clip your image right here. Just select your image and then it clipped it for you. And then you're gonna go to file, save as, and then save it to your computer and there is your mock-up. But like I said, the quality is not gonna be as high because you are like condensing it some. So uh, I don't really recommend doing this way. I used to do it like this back before I had the business edition of Silhouette, but it's free. So if you're wanting just something to make mock-ups and you don't wanna pay for PicMonkey or Canva or anything like that, you can do it this way. Um, and I'll show you how to do it, the paid version, if you have the business edition or the upgraded version of Silhouette. So I'm gonna first make sure I select all of my um, files and everything I created here. And then I'm gonna go to File, Save Selection, Save to Hard Drive. And then you're gonna save it here um, as whatever you wanna name it. So I'm just gonna say Pumpkin Mockup. And then down here, this is the important part. So save as type, you're gonna save it as a JPEG. And then you're gonna hit okay. Okay, so from another mock-up creator, I've heard that 3,500 is a good size to do. So we're gonna do 3,500 and it updates everything else for you there. And then you're gonna hit save. And now you have your mock-up saved. And as you can see, we'll go ahead and pull it up from the computer and I'll show you how it looks. All right, and there it is. And as you can see, it's super crisp, super clean. And that is how it's saved on our computer. So that is how you save them in Silhouette Studio. So yet again, another free option. Well, not free if you have the business edition, but the business edition is a one-time fee. So um, I recommend it if you have Silhouette and you use it. Um, it doesn't hurt. So anyways, that is how you make mock-ups in PicMonkey, Canva, and Silhouette Studio. I hope that this answered questions for you guys. And if you have any more questions, let me know down in the comments and I'm happy to help. I appreciate you watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.